Next, we're in district court in Ann Arbor, Michigan. 36-year-old Anthony Lane is before Judge Cedric Simpson for a virtual conference. Six months earlier, Lane was charged with one count of possessing methamphetamine or ecstasy and one count of possessing a narcotic, cocaine or heroin. Today, Lane is requesting to waive his right to a probable cause hearing and have his case sent straight to circuit court. Mr. Lane, please state your name for the court. Anthony Lane. Good morning, sir. Is there uh, how you doing? A, a waiver for uh, continued plea negotiations and resolution in circuit? You understand you'll not have that hearing and you'll proceed to circuit court for further resolution? Yes, sir. Everything seems to be going as planned until the judge asked the prosecutor if he also agrees to waive the probable cause hearing. People also waive their right? Your Honor, I'll agree to waive, but I do want to make a statement on the record. Uh, it appeared that earlier in this time block that uh, Mr. Lane was rolling a blunt and uh, might have been smoking. Earlier that day, while Lane waited in the virtual courtroom, he decided to have a smoke. Another defendant waiting for the judge did a double take when he noticed what Lane was up to. While recreational marijuana use is legal in Michigan, Lane is out on bond and strictly prohibited from taking any drugs or controlled substances. Lane looked cautiously out the vehicle's window, but paid no attention to the phone in front of him that was broadcasting what he was doing, not only on the internet, but directly to the court. He continued smoking during the session and flaunted the blunt up close while Judge Simpson was handling other cases. Court staff took notice and informed the prosecutor. Your Honor, given that information, I guess we need to adjourn the PCC so Mr. Lane and I can speak further before we wait. Yeah. I think that might be wise. Mr. Lane, you understand what's happening now? Yeah. As part of his bond conditions, Lane is also supposed to be taking regular drug tests. When's the last time he tested? Uh, two weeks ago. You were supposed to be testing two times per week. I Before tested back. To, I tested back to back. Okay, but have you tested this week? No, sir. I'm also going to order that you're to report to Community Corrections today for a test. Uh, Your Honor, I have no ride today. Well, you better find somebody to get you a ride down here. I'm ordering right. a test. Today. I'm you. You're the one that brought this on yourself by what you did. So I'm ordering a test today. Okay, sir. If you sir. Don't test today, I'm going to be issuing a warrant to have you picked up. But as the judge moves on, Lane lingers on the call and lets out a laugh. <laughs> well, you, you keep good. laughing, Mr. Lane. I don't think you want to do that. Not with me. You better take yourself off before you think things are too funny. Thank you. I wasn't laughing day. at you, sir. I wasn't laughing at you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Court calls case, People versus Chandler Langston. Lane never made it to community corrections that day, nor did he appear at his next conference. Judge Simpson issued a warrant for his arrest and revoked bond. His case remains open. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.